that iPad because it not, Roger's not here until next week. Oh, yeah. Because um. I don't need your help, so I might as well go learn that. orchids.com every Saturday this is where we do our podcast from um, we do also have the, the podcast on video at YouTube under Norman's Orchids you can subscribe and like I think people say it's easier to find the um, old, old podcast if not it's on our Facebook page <laughs> today we have um, the new owner cameraman. new cameraman Eric Fang is behind the camera Try trying level to, myself to level himself and i'm trying to tell him it's not about me it's about the flowers okay guys you know um then right. last week i complained to jeff i said we need a slimming slimmer camera because so i'm on my double chin's coming on and jeff's is like yeah let me go get you a slimming <laughs> camera lens then i'm yeah, like it's I'm all a... it's all about how you angle it right you kind of go up and down that's what norman said is up and it's down it's all about Don't lighting go. it's all about light. lighting <laughs> <laughs> hey can i have a dog to show I can't get her. Oh. Come here, Hannah. Oh, there. Let's just Okay. Everybody want to see Hannah? Hannah's got the belated summer cut. It's not my fault. Her hair got too tangled. So we switched from um, Yoki Terrier to a Chihuahua for a few weeks. So she she's actually quite active. She thinks she's a Chihuahua. Um, but expensive yeah, Chihuahua. expensive Chihuahua, as Eric calls it. So. She happy to report she did gain 0.2 pounds, so she is now a heavy 2.2 pounds. <laughs> so we we're missing uh, Roger today. Roger's at the hospital. Um, UCLA is a teaching hospital, so he's got resident all week to teach. And here we have Jeff. Hold on, drop something. We have Jeff, the director, Brian, the IT. Eric Fang is joining us for the cameraman. So let's just get started. We're good? I'm trying to fix your oh. double chin. <laughs> Eric's trying to fix my double chin. Like, that's going to help. I think I had to resort to exercise. So it's always a struggle to figure out what we're going to do for pre show. Um, we had a lot of nice suggestions. So, but I think we're going to just wing it again. It's almost holiday time. So let's just do some more arranging i think next week we'll manage to do some how to water in the condominium or how to water in home i kind of like to do it at home so it's easier than in, in the situation you know we all have the same problem it's harder to teach you how to water at home in the beautiful greenhouse like this um, gia's here so canna's gonna go crazy so when you do a container always make sure you line it Otherwise, it's going to drain. It's going to ruin your... Should I put my shades on? Eric's got lighting on me. Do I look prettier? <laughs> <laughs> Next week, we'll have Roger back. So, I always... You can use um, bags or... Thank you. You can use bags or foil or kind of shiny on my eye babe <laughs> now if you do that i might need a heavier makeup right <laughs> you're hopeless sorry <laughs> so we have a new person so hannah's going crazy barking at it at her so i think somebody wanted to do some mini so we're going to do a mini again um, when you do arrangement always uh, obviously have a container that doesn't have holes because you're really not growing in it <laughs> she wants to play now. Gia's here. So I always double line it. I don't think I have everything I need here today. But the nursery is quite busy. So um, you can always fill it up with bark because obviously I think this is going to be too low. So I had to raise the 
the plant a little bit. Since I don't have everything I need, um, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna take this apart later. Pretend this is bark. <laughs> See what I mean? So I'm just gonna use it to raise it a little bit. Actually, I can use this if we just do the opposite. Put the rag underneath. Hey, cameraman, are you moving camera at all? No? Yeah. Okay. Me too. So, um, don't worry, you're the center of attention. I don't want to be the center no, of attention. It's not, it's not. <laughs> it's not me. No, I'm so, kidding. today, like, I don't, I was helping customer all the way until like two minutes prior to coming in. So, I needed to raise raise the container otherwise my plants are seeping in when you when you're seeping in so much when you water it's gonna get to the crown and I don't know everybody's texting me um, <laughs> guys I'm already busy on here don't text me so I, I did um, towels instead of bark or a foam I didn't have pardon me I didn't grab everything I needed so the towel will work and then you put your plastic over it so when it when the plant gets wet, you're not gonna seep down or it's not gonna get all stinky. Okay. And again, I think I keep forgetting to mention when you have your container, it's the same thing as what we always say at the front and the back of the shirt. You know, if you don't want to do this, this is not your front of the container. This container is actually a side container. I think every time one time I did the arrangement, I kind of screw up. I was in such a hurry that I did the back for the front. So literally after the cam after the camera I left everything in, we just have somebody like switch it over. So basically, um, my mistake, but I need to own up to it. So I just went and grabbed random plants. I like to do things in layers. So it's like this this arrangement is gonna have three layers, sort of. Oh, right? Chicks. And I didn't grab enough flowers, but that, that means for you at home, you're on a budget. With me, I would like to put two more plants. Of course, it'll be a lot fuller. So with a budget, everybody has a budget. Then this will be sufficient to do an arrangement. See what I'm saying? Then you could either cut the, the plastic off or just kind of put it in use it as a stuffer so when you when you put go and put moss you don't want to um, waste moss by shoving in between so all these spacing in between I will use newspaper or if you don't like the smell of newspaper getting wet you could do <laughs> plastic or if you got a lot of money and you wanted to do a lot of moss go ahead and shove the moss in <laughs> or um, you could fill out with bark as well Anything, it's just, anything. you're just trying just, to fill the space, right? Just anything to fill that gap. And then styrofoam. you know, yeah, styrofoam, whatever you want. So th this is our arrangement. And this is pink, pink arrangements. So usually, let's do the brown one. I usually like to do some kind of twig. Eric is really good at arranging too. Eric is on our dot com. He does all the arrangement for our orchids dot com. All the fangs are talented in doing arrangement except Carmen. <laughs> he does a lot of lip service. Lip service? <laughs> he did not say that. Just kidding. He's kidding. The fangs like to joke around each other a lot. So, um, just to show you anything, because I just kind of picked this up. Uh, all my twigs at the shop are has to be really flexible for me to do this. That almost looks real. Yeah, <laughs> and it has to be real looking. Otherwise, um, your accessory is there, but not there to be your focus. So when I went out to buy sticks, when I go on my gift shows run, I take everything. I taught a lot of gift shows to say, hey, don't tape these to the wall because I need to take them down and... and pull it and fill it and see how it goes so again when you do a stick you always do it from behind remember that oh yeah this is really cute we're all screaming Aww. and yelling about it i don't have enough a miniature i know if it's norman normal wear on his pocket so cute i think count is pulling this every day i don't have a number yet 
That's a so. perfect Borsche size for Hannah Bell. Yeah, this is Hannah's, Hannah's size. Right, Hannah? <laughs> Where's my here? So, here you go. We have my handy dandy twist ties that I use for everything. Just gonna cut a few. And I use these to, um, to stake, to wire, to do everything because I like these better than clips. Our nursery start with everything clips is faster to get everything stationized, but when we go out, we always change it to some kind of twist tie. This twist tie is better, you, you can't hide the milli bug behind it. Uh, it's, you can see it, there's nowhere to hide. So when you, your stick goes in, you always have to have the first anchor. And when you cut a twist tie, don't cut it too thrifty like I do. <laughs> it's not thrifty, I just don't like to see a lot of it. Problem is, I think my nails are too long, but anyways. So this is where the flexible, wow. flexible, um, twigs had to come into play and a lot of time I do twigs because we need it to the help to station the spikes versus I see a lot of arrangement it's just when you put it in it's just like like all fours and open legs and everything so and if you don't know how to use the sticks yet you could kind of twist it a little bit otherwise I've seen a lot of people um, try to twirl these sticks and then bath fires and flip dress on your own face and on the flowers. I used to have private classes at the shop so I get to see how people are doing things. See how it just twirl really nicely Jeff? Mm -hmm. The trick is doing this backwards right Eric? Mm -hmm. But if you don't do this for 20, 30 years, you can do it backwards, eyes closed. Who's on I should say hi to? Oh man, we have a lot of people on. <laughs> Elaine is on, Taylor? Corey's on. Oh hi, Corey's been Joe's singing. Joe's on. Singing, I Linda's know. on. Hi Linda, oh Linda's doing her little wiring thing. Let me borrow this for a Tony's minute. Tony's on. Who? Tony, to help. Tony? Come? Yep. Tony, come. Tony's here? Yep. Yeah. Tony's on. Hey, He's Tony. waving. Hi, waving. Hi, Tony. Tony's on a lot. Tony's a good friend of Catherine's ours. Catherine's on. Lori's on. Everybody's on. Tony, Tony's um, it's a good friend of ours. Before we know him, I think Eric helped him. They came in for their wedding flowers, Eric. Oh yeah, long Tony, time ago. long time ago. And then uh, we got to know him, and they said they came in for their wedding flower. Aww. Small world, right? So see how flexible this is. And this all just wrapped up our cute little arrangement here. And I kind of made things work, you know, I didn't have everything I need and I had a towel, so I grabbed the towels, we, we use it to prop it up. So here we go, we have a cute little arrangement, but like I said, if you want it fuller, you can make it fuller. If not, if you have anything decorative, if it's fall coming, if you have pumpkins, cute little pumpkins that they sell at the store, you can put a couple of them on there. If you have cute little butterflies or birds, you can perch them on. So that's one. We're, we're not going to moss. We're going to just do um, two today. Do you have to take a picture? Oh, great. Now I just took what I needed for this one. We're gonna lose Jeff. Jeff is going on vacation. How oh, dare yeah. he? You're going on two weekends? Two weekends. Two weekends. Where are you going? Should Colorado. Colorado. Yes. If Chase is on, Chase here in Colorado, whoever's in Colorado, hit him up. Hit me you, up. You guys should have. Uh, I'll be in Estes Park. 
You guys should have a visit. We can go and have coffee, socially yes. distanced. Social distance. And being responsible. <laughs> There's plenty of space in Colorado. <laughs> I'm sure there is. <laughs> Again, I didn't bring everything I need today, so I'm going to emphasize I just found some cups, so we're going to use it to prop things up. Those are huge. So everybody's saying I haven't done any standard size. These are always tricky to get it in there. Oh, man. No, no. Scary. <gasps> Good job. <laughs> Eric, you got to focus. Jeff is like, focus, Jeff. <laughs> Do your job. Don't try this at home, guys. Or do. <laughs> That's this, why you're this, this one is going to be harder because you already got one in there. But maybe let's see if we can make it work this way. Oh, before we get in there, Jeff is suggesting welcome to all the new members. We've done this a few times. Um, when you go around, when I clean leaves and stuff, when I go around, I don't want to bring a blow torch or it's not protective to be coming back to get you board uh, the torch so if you have a leaf that you want to cut up usually this will let it naturally cut off but today um, I'm going to show the new people how to take a leaf off um, you just cut it tour in the middle tour in the middle and then just pull pull and see how that how clean that comes out sort of so you don't have any uh, scissors or anything to help pull it out but you have to hold this stamp, But you right? have to hold because the stamp. This one, it. I could do the same way, but not split it in between. You hold the plant. Because sometimes if the plants are not strong, you, you pull it, you might snap the plant off. Um, so hold it tight, and then just kind of wiggle. Here we go. This one, we got everything out. Right, Norman? <laughs> I'm going to just do one more, and then I'll give you guys to Norman. Oh, I like the basket. I love this basket. We have this much larger, too. Um, you sell it? Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. I can't because this is there. If I use this, it's going to hit my... So, I might even have to do that Both again. Yeah. This, this is great. <laughs> I got Eric trying to teach me. But this way, I, I can't. This one will snap this basket off. You got it? I can't do it. Well, yeah. watch. You can. I can't. Oh. Oh, that's because it's like... Maybe just... Dun-dun-dun. <laughs> so you have Orchids.com, two best arrangers, debating about how to make this arrangement. Uh, I'm you know the best. This I'm is like $1,000 an hour I'm talent. The, I'm the best, though. Going out to YouTube. Here you go. I, I don't want to. I don't want to be on it because that would take me ten seconds to finish it, and there's no story. <laughs> ten seconds to finish it. Harry just loved to talk. Lip service. What did he say? Normal is lip service. I can't stand this. Let me get off. <laughs> See, voila. We kind of went both in without hurting anything, and I cheated. I didn't have bark or anything. Well, and this basket's already lined. I didn't oh, have to line it. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. The basket's already lined, so we're good to go. Well, what Norman, demonstration? of no. course, Norman is in the backdrop saying, the basket's too small. <laughs> and when you have three minutes, Norman, you do what you can to get it prepped for a pre-show. Um, but I think it's okay if you have a small coffee table and you just want something simple for the holiday. It looks great. Um, I'm not totally thrilled, but it's kind of leaning a little bit, but I'll do the best I can. I didn't pick the right plant. For, it, it's, it's okay. It's sufficient. Norman? Uh, <laughs> Norman, if we have more budget, we can hire Martha Stewart, okay? Oh, Martha Stewart's not good. She drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you have camera here. Cut. Cut. <laughs> Where's that bleep button? Dang it. Bleep button. Well, maybe she's better now that she's been in jail. Oh my god. <laughs> someone, someone, someone said she has more street cred than Snoop Dogg. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Someone said she has more cred than Snoop Dogg now. No, she, she's actually doing really well. I um, shouldn't she, be here. There's too much trash talk here. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, if it's Valentine, I just found these. You know, you could do whatever. It's fall. You could do, like I said, pumpkins, fall leaves, or whatever. I'm just doing it to match color of the flower. And if you have an anniversary, um, and this flower lasts a long, long 
time. That's okay, not the, not the Oh, one. sorry. <laughs> sorry. Like, um, Roger and I have an anniversary coming up. Oh. Uh, yeah. Ten year. Wow. Big one. Huh? Big one. Big, Big one. one. So we might not be here. <laughs> October 20th. Maybe, like, we're, we'll just be gone for a weekend. I don't know. We'll still be here. I you guess. deserve it. We can manage. Yeah. We we'll can see. manage. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We have. We'll put a sign here that said "Gong Fishing." <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I just found these again. I don't. Just whatever is on my way in. I found it. We're gonna oh, use I'm it. Oh, trash can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust me, when I'm desperate, <laughs> I find things in the trash can to use around here. I did it with one of the show in New York. Yeah. I went to the garbage dumps to find you know, the the vegetable for crates, crates and stuff. For the well, when you're when you're out of town and you got <laughs> nothing else to do. Um, but that's a nice food crate. Yes, those are quite expensive nowadays. Well, Catherine says Eric can do a pre-show mounting that weekend. <laughs> and another one? Oh, that one they they pay for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was paid. <laughs> I've been trying to ask Eric to do a pre-show so I could have a day off. No, uh, I need to pick a Actually, these are our fall leaf. Um, so you could do anything you want. Gia, who's your friend? This is Michelle. Hi, Hi Michelle. Michelle. Hi. <laughs> Michelle's got my dog. I'm like, who's holding sitting. my dog? <laughs> a dog lover. Yeah. I knew you would like him. <laughs> yeah. So... It was a I know, we already told everybody. So this one is more like fun eclipted. It's not, a, it, you know, you can make it as neutral, as natural as you can because the basket is quite natural. Um, so whatever you have at home, I usually save it. You could just pull it up and use it for anything really. Hence, Jamie keep building sheds in the parking spaces <laughs> in our condo so here we go just something simple um, again we had to um, moss it but be real careful when you do stuff like this it's not top heavy it's gonna fall forward because right now it's a little top heavy uh, if you get a cute dog a big dog that bigger than Hannah bump it on your table it's gonna crash so if you if you do do that then go ahead and put some rocks or anything heavy to help you anchor it down go far <laughs> go ahead, gotta be a big go far so just put something heavier on the other end um so it'll weight it down you guys do this every weekend yeah we do this every weekend <laughs> eric's Can you like believe people watch <laughs> it's, like, it's actually a comedy it's, it's actually quite entertaining as i i heard it's like the whole she's real the whole Good. um this is a Inter private group, right? Yeah, this is very private. Okay, so it's, <laughs> it's family talk. It, it's family. It's our orchid family, and um, you just gotta like us. If not, Bye. there's there's a better group like AOS. We're <laughs> gonna <laughs> 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 okay, trouble. Two. Do you think I care? <laughs> okay, then of course you can moss it. Uh, people get a little crazy. You could do fabric. You could do whatever you want. You know, it's your arrangement. So, you know, we're not going to give you a grade. If you like it, you think it's pretty, perfect. Okay? If you hate the roses, don't put the roses in. I would, that is just something to show you what you could do with your silk flower that's tired. Actually, a lot of silk flower that's... Is it first? No, it's really dirty. Um... <laughs> Kind of pick it up on the no, floor. No, he said dust it first. Yeah, dust it first. But I was getting to that. You don't have to dust. You just kind of bang it on the wall on the table a few times. And that we have the leaf shine. So when there's baskets or silk flower that looks a little dusty and tired, I usually just shine it with the leaf shine. That's the, the fastest way to clean it. But do bang it around a few times. Otherwise, you're gonna cake in the dirt into the container. Question. What's your question? How do you bang <laughs> silk flower? How do you bang silk flower? Can I ask who asked that? <laughs> <laughs> That's Eric. I love it. See, now you get three fangs. Your guys are in trouble. 
But Eric. they do want to know the name of that foul. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you have a number? Eric, um, how to bang it? <laughs> Grab it by the stem. Bang it on the table. <laughs> That's five bucks for you for entertainment and five bucks for you. We got ten bucks on dessert. Actually, we, we had a nice lunch. I, I gotta we, find a new job. <laughs> <laughs> we had apple pie from Marine Calendar. A lot of and sugar. A lot of sugar. That's sugar. why we're all Brian wired. Has, Brian has more after this because he made us he some left. custom. No, uh, Brian made us some panna cotta. Matcha panna cotta. Yeah. We're gonna Ooh. have that for nice. for dessert. He already said it's a lot of sugar, so we have to no, only eat a little bit. Is it a lot of sugar? Time. That's what he said. Oh, Lord. He said we can't eat well, the whole thing. So when app, our apple pie wears off, we'll have more sugar. <laughs> Just, I think that reminds me of our Phil Fanatic Symposium. <laughs> anyway, so, um, not to mess around anymore. So if you have any more questions, the Which name? Which one is it? Yeah, do you know? Name? Yeah. Name? Right. Uh, later. Later. <laughs> He's not responsible for pre-show. Right. But anyways, so yeah, these are too tall for us to ship, right? Yeah. Shipping well, is... We, should, we can ship the plant. We well, ship the plant because cut the flowers. Cut the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will post it. I will post the link before. before yeah, because a lot of time we hate to ship something really tall because we lose so much money on shipping, and then you know. So in the future, we might do such show spikes. Yeah, next time we'll just make sure it's short, um, blanket it or something so they won't grow too tall. Anyway, so have a good weekend, and don't forget to. Like us on YouTube under Norman's Orchids. Um, subscribe. subscribe. Sorry, subscribed. And like us. And like us. And if you have friends out of the country, because we don't accept anybody outside the U.S., have them go on um, YouTube so they can take advantage of um, our humor and learning <laughs> as much as we can. So, all right, guys, have a good one. Thank you, Eric. What should you do with this one? Oh, Auntie, you want me to have it for you to wear but you don't have any pockets. Kind of match your shirt, but you don't well, have I'm, I'm you don't perfect. have a pocket. I will, I will talk about this one later. Okay. It's so cute. Bye guys. Bye. Woo, that's your Thank hands you, full. Jamie. You're welcome. Jamie. Huh? Your hands full? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, jumpers. Jamie's jumpers on Sunday starting at 10 o'clock Pacific time. How do you do that? Oh, is this my phone? How are you doing, Norman? Good. Can you put up with the what? Hannah's oh, bed? Hannah's bed? Yeah. Okay. Alright, remember uh, Hi, my is Norman Fong. For those of the new member, um, this is a famous business. <laughs> We have a family yeah. show, and yes. we have the, the three fans, uh, Norman fan, Eric, uh, I'm a horticulturist, Jamie is a business major, and Eric fan is uh, in charge of the website, and he's a landscape architect. So remember a couple of weeks ago that I say I have an outdoor uh, heat stress uh, for the Mega Drive, and this is one of those uh, cute the wearable orchid. <laughs> this is actually flower outdoor experience the 116 degree outdoor and flower. And you probably can tell that the, when it grow outdoor versus the in, in a greenhouse, the plant becomes tougher. They have to almost like more succulent leaf. And I got it in the moss. So here we go. Okay, and you know this is not for beginner, but we you have to be more careful on the you know measure of water. Uh, that's why I cook water in a mask. And this have been outdoor since uh, this April. So grow outdoor is been the heat we have this summer, and it actually flower outdoor. Consider half of this are uh, Cassinia, so Fernandez Cassinia. So there you go. If you want to try something, uh, this is why I uh, do the the, the uh, stress test because the global warming is here to stay with us. And a lot of us have all orchid outdoor, whether it's in Florida, you guys experience lots of rain. We have, we're gonna have a hundred degree again next week. Uh, so what I, what I did with the outdoor one, even the high fair enough outdoor, uh, Bonina, Valencia, 
under the bench, really shady. When I know there's a heat stress coming in, instead of every two weeks, what I do is I spread it every week. And the plant really, it, it helped the plant to thicken the, the, the epidemic. So give it the, the, the stress uh, release, so to speak. So here you go. All right. Today's topic is actually very close to my heart. Uh, my first my first phalaenopsis actually uh, uh, phalaenopsis alphabetis, a, a marvelous variety of Formosana because I, I was born in Taiwan. And naturally, that's what we have when I, in the 60s and 70s when I was a little kid. Uh, the All you have as far as the orchid's concern is when the, they will collect the Amapolis Formosana, uh, but now it's been changed to Aphrodite's variety Formosana from the jungle, usually on the east side of the island or south of the island. And this is the typical, this is actually a real example of the Amapolis Formosana, okay? The characteristic for the Amapolis Formosana, Aphrodite Formosana, is very, very nice, jay green foliage, small, thin spikes. Uh, this is summertime, so in the springtime, they have a lot of branches. Versus another, so there's actually only two species found in Taiwan. Uh, Aphrodite subspecies Formosana, like this. The second one is the Equestris, okay? But the, most of the Aphrodite and Amabulus is actually from the Philippines. Uh, so that's the first phenomenon I have when I was a little kid in Taiwan. Then when I first come to the United States back in 1978, uh, I'm happy to be in a sort of the right place at the right time. Because guess what? The standard big white phenomenon is actually developed in California. Yes. Uh, if you like to see some of the old, 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 old book, at that time, the white fan analysis was using the Gwendiflora form uh, the, from the Philippines. And there's the Amabulus Gwendiflora. Gwendiflora form is, is both, can be naturally can be about three inch in size. So in the 40 and uh, 40, uh, about 50 and 60, a lot of nursery in California like uh, Standard Oil, uh, a lot of the supposed oil company, they actually keep, always keep breeding the species of the Grandiflora from, from Philippines. And the Grandiflora is very different than the, I don't have a Grandiflora in flower, but this is the typical Grandiflora leaf. Big, dark forest green versus the J green from, uh, from Taiwan. You see the leaf? Okay, so this is why sometimes when I send orchid like Bonina and Valencia, when they have a light green leaf, and some of the beginners, you know, their, their first orchid may be a grocery uh, standard white, they are used to the big dark green. That is the trademark from the 24 or 4. So the 50 and 60, there's like uh, all the free, uh, many, many nursery men, uh, some of the uh, but breeder, they will keep breeding to the biggest or the grandiflora floral form, and what we call line breeding. But every time, so they will keep two biggest one keep breeding, and then uh, by about seven, the late sixty and early seventy, they actually achieve about four inches in size of the uh, of hybrid of white. They use it many for using for corsages, for brunier, and for the wedding. If you saw, uh, because in the 50, the corsage is very popular. And the number one corsage in the old days <coughs> is what? Cataria, right? Mm -hmm. And then you had the Symbidium. And then you had the, the white Phalaenopsis. And Phalaenopsis actually is like easier to to produce or grow for cut flower because it's not, it doesn't take a, lo a much longer time like Cataria, it take from the sea to blooming size, maybe take about seven years. And then a lot of grow, they had to use the shade, maybe long day or short day, 
to regulate the cut flower for Easter for Mother's Day. And St. William, for example, for cut flower have problem because St. William only flower once a year during the cold and the only can it, it cannot produce in Florida because it's too warm. So it's kind of limited. The phalaenopsis is perfect because it, it flowers for a long time and it generates genetic flower in the springtime. So you have Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, and then all the way to a lot of nursery at that time, always in the coastal area of California, the Malibu, Carpenteria. Okay, this is why when I, when I started my nursery back in the 86, people said, what? You gonna start a nursery in where? In the Indian Valley, <laughs> Ontario, <laughs> where it's hot and, and steamy. Uh, but you cannot afford to buy land in Malibu, you know, <laughs> Santa Barbara, you know. But they have that problem because uh, the, the water have a lot of salt because from the uh, population and the smog. And actually, uh, look around me. I'm, you know, look around, okay, okay. We have that experience, the smog we have and being in the Indian Valley, I'm actually make my business because all my flowers are more what I call smog resistant. In the <laughs> 80, yeah, it's just true. In the 80, uh, when you know, when I make my orchid business, you know, 80 percent of my first well, phenomenon at that time is all white. We produce a lot of white. It's actually for uh, interior design. This is the beginning of interior design, and in the hotel that they use them, you know, they're really rich and famous in uh, Beverly Hill, you know, uh, love to use it for, for decoration. But they have problem because when the flower from Santa Barbara, which is ideal, perfect weather, cool area, no smog, when they come into kind of Los, you know, Los Angeles, the Beverly Hill, you know, Pasadena, they start with having problems. The, the, the flower is not smart resistant. So the dorsal sepal will tend to transparent and reward it. So I make my business of creating and I can screen. Hey, if they can survive the smart <laughs> here, they will survive anywhere. The, the, the flower will even last even longer for you. So this is what, what, I, what happened with, with, with my career. It's always start with the white, the basic white. And the species is very important. So you don't, there's a picture I, I put it on the uh, profile picture. We don't see a lot of these uh, Amabus Gwendiflora anymore. Or some of the, the, uh, the reason being, the leaf is too big. Uh, the leaf is too big. So the, the trend now, the trend now, is for me anyway not because it's uh it's a uh, uh, i like to use a lot of uh, what we call the uh, uh, alphabetics uh, uh a marvelous alphabetics for masala infant i like the j green leaf and generally they are more compact foliage okay this is the typical a marvelous inference okay very nice J green leaf and a lot more compact versus the Grandiflora form. Okay, even though this is Centuriana, but very very similar in in the world leaf shape. Look at the size of the leaf. Okay, so you're gonna see less and less of the Grandiflora form, even though it's it's big in size. You're gonna see more of the marvelous type or some of the. This is quite new. I do, we don't have this in the 70 and 80. I love this one. This is the Amabarus, okay? From a very unique island, you see the leaf side, much more narrow. And this is from the island of Surabayana. Uh, don't worry about the number, I was, <laughs> it's actually NF uh, 2438. I will put it in the uh, show and tell later. This is very rare, uh, okay. It had a species charm. Look at the yellow lip in there, okay. It's open in shape. This is what, you know, this is what you find in natural, okay. And so you're gonna see a lot of, at least for me anyway, I'm gonna use a lot of this in breeding. And I, I, I 
just find this very charming because look how even the, the sparse stem is thin but look at how there's no species you don't even need a spiking okay and the, the the plant itself have even this is imagine this is the middle of the summer so they don't get a lot of branching if they flower in the middle of the regular season in the spring half they is going to be that cascading okay and this is the formal summer type. And now, another strand that I've been cultivating and quite unique is a marvelous. This is from Philippines. Um, but a marvelous variety of flower. Okay. Flower means they have a beautiful yellow center. Okay. And this is exactly what I use to create this earth in eternal snow. Okay, this eternal snow is using the big standard V3 onto one of these. Well, much better shape than this, but this is the only one I have in flower right now. So, this is how you create a beautiful yellow lip. So, uh, uh, don't have it right now, but keep in mind, I, I will have different line breeding of the miniature but using the laws of this this uh, flower form of marbles with a yellow center okay so I got some of the um, uh, shoriana flower so my assistant Brian they're gonna be busy today we're gonna <laughs> make a cross okay we imagine that yellow onto the shoriana okay but we still have very manageable size of leaf. Now, not not like Grandy Flora, but still manageable. But this will be a good marriage. <laughs> okay, here you go, Brian. Okay. So, eternal snow, I sold out right now, but if it's available again, love this because it's very compact leaf. Okay. Probably the only one in the country still working on white because everybody said, Oh, white is white. But actually, if our priest, uh, not every white is different. You know, you uh, the, the, the standard white. Look at this one. This is Norman Smith. How many weeks have been here? That's been like four months. Now. Three, four months, yeah. It's been here for four months. Okay, <laughs> well, okay, this is my signature piece. This is one I got a silver medal at the World Orchid Show in uh, my uh. Vancouver, British Columbia. And that's the same one. We don't trade it out. That's the same same flower. There. This is the same flower. And I will show you on the show and tell uh, we have bigger size. Uh, but this is one I, so for those of you new, uh, I did pinch the flower back. So all the, the energy just produce one flower. But the, the plant itself, if I don't do that, because the, it's a young plant, but this is the, stand, this is the regular size. The, the plant got a water merit and it's over five and quarter inch in size yeah so but in the old day in the 80s this they, they, space 70 they actually achieved the five inch from breeding for cut flower but the trouble is is the the sub, the flower substance is paper thin almost like toilet paper you can actually if, if do a flashlight you can actually sheet through it so the flower don't last very well. They might be good for cut flower, for, for, for a bouquet, for a couple of days, but not suitable for pot the plant. And when I was in the student back in 1982, and I told my professor I want to do, uh, end up, end up, I want to do a pot plant, Phalaenopsis. I'm actually the first one to corner the 10 pot plant, uh, to do Phalaenopsis as a pot the plant. Because before that, before 1982, it's all about cut flower. So that was the project I did a cut pony, cut And uh, so we, I import print from Taiwan, okay, those are we for cut flower for, for Japan. But I actually figured out the, the way to, to treat it as a pot print. So I, I, I have, I give myself a lot of credit to do that, <laughs> okay? Uh, so what about Harlequin. I'm happy to have not a very good example, but this is one of the Harlequin 
And by the way, uh, if you're not a member of the Fail Fanatic, the membership drive you member, they're gonna have, I'm gonna give you a talk on development of Harlequin Feminine Mouses. So Jeff, is that for members only, right? Yes, okay, members good. only okay. in December. In December, okay, so this so is why time to sign we up have, and then uh, you have time to sign up for Fail Fanatic. Uh, it's, I'm supported because um, it's, a, it's for the scholarship for the for the uh, for the horticulture student. I, I did not get any scholarship for to support orchid. I had I, I actually got a scholarship to for my love industry. So I do <laughs> I work in a teacher course that. But anyway, uh, this is when you do the phenolopsis colloquin, This is. With this one here, and I happen to have a bear stem available. Yeah. You got something like this. Most of you are familiar with a Harlequin, a big showy. Look at this. This is the result of this one and yeah. our Marbodus. Oh. So a Marbodus gives you that compact leaf, a lot of spike. Look at the branching. Okay, this is the use in my Marbodus. Uh, uh, Frank, uh, Brian gonna have a, a, a inventory number for this chrome. Okay, which happened to have this one. But this is the this is the, the new trend now because the one that Jamie did earlier, the big yeah. lavender, is huge. You know, you cannot ship. You know, maybe good for a hotel, but not much. It's too tall. But for me, this is the new trend because this is actually a marble using this one here cross with four more sauna strand. So what you get is something very compact, small flower, almost a string of pearl in a way. But you got that fine spot. And this chrome is called Galaxy. So I really like this one. So this is the new train I'm creating. So they can give you two, two three spikes. Uh, it's actually, when they fall open, it's actually like a living bouquet. Okay. They want the number of that one too. Okay, you, you will be at a show and tell. Yes, yeah, it has on the show and tell. And, but what's more, even more exciting part right now is the four end strength. I've been doing a lot of breeding, okay? This is a marvelous form of sala, or aphrodite form of sala. So don't worry, uh, at the website, there's a search box. You just type in a marvelous or aphrodite it will bring up everything that we have. But this is the line breeding strand of a marvelous form of sauna, what I call the miniature form. So we're trying to keep it small and small. And this is not bad for the summertime. And now the weather is cooling off, it got another spike coming. Nice. Yep. So I do this it, we, in my people who are have like if you know is people perfect for window sill on the light. So yeah. if you see any of the amabas yeah. reading, I put it on the note. They say four n. Let me touch point. This is what you get: Com compact leaf and compact uh, flower spine. Okay. So so this is the one we had last week. So now, even with a big foot, the big lip type, okay, you can even cross with uh, the four end amabers and give you that miniature form of the big lip because the traditional big lip is the standard side. Now you can cross with the species. It's all about the species, okay? That's why it's so important. Everybody should have some kind of species in your collection because the species never go out of fashion. Okay, a lot of this uh, this hybrid go out of fashion, but species is always there, and we need to grow species to preserve them because the, a lot of time the, the rate of the cutting down the jungle is not even funny. Some of them the habitat is lost. For example, the this one here is very treasure for me. Look at that; it's a silver leaf among us, and the best part is it had the jasmine fragrance. 24 hour, day and night. This is the only a marvelous have fragrance. Not, none of this have fragrance. So 
this have fragrance, so we'll have we have tissue culture this and some of this uh, I have I'm going to donate some of the original uh, strain because this is actually from um, uh, Indonesia very close to uh, New Guinea in the island but they saved the sea part the sea sent it to Hong sent it to Thailand and from Thailand when my, my business partner bought all a thousand seeds with the Taiwan and the habitat of the island is lost because they have a volcano eruption. So this is so important that we need to grow species, okay, and preserve it, okay. So, so now you can have I have this. Remember the last week we have Stuvadaria, okay. So now I can cross this. Many of you have bronze met bronze uh, metal, right? Okay, bronze metal is Shuriana. I'm crossing it just for the leaf. Using the uh, Stuart Daniela with a beautiful whitish marking to cross with a silver leaf. Okay, we're gonna do it this week. So hopefully in two or in about two or three years, the seeding will be available and we'll have fun with it. <laughs> okay. Be patient. Be patient. Yeah. So this is very important when we do breeding with Stuart uh, Shuriana. What? This is a uh, Stuart Daniela, okay? This is the one I, I, I would say to breed for the 40. And Brian gonna be, Brian can be tomorrow, Sunday? Yes, he is. Okay, <laughs> it's a good day for breeding. Uh, is, he said, can we cross this with Shuriana, okay? Versus this type, okay? This is why a lot of time, uh, the solid leaf is more common, okay? Because a lot of time, the breeder before me, they always concentrate on the spotting and spotting it, but they never for, they never pay attention or they don't care because all they was the flower. But for me, this is more desirable. Not just the flower is pretty with a beautiful spot, but the leaf should be ornamental too. Okay, all right, because everybody grow on, on the light, and one of the thing people always say, oh, okay, the ugly will flower, especially Catalina. <laughs> <laughs> but but that the chain can be changed. I'm actually breeding for foliage now. Whoa. I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm gonna be, I'm I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> now look at this. Okay. I'm gonna cross some of this with uh, a marvelous. Okay. With this, I'm gonna make a lot of interesting uh hybrid with it. So we're going to be make, busy making some primary hybrid. We'll be making some of the Amabilis from Mosana with the new Sumatrana from Vietnam. You see here, this is a beautiful market. And have some kind of cinnamon uh, uh, fragrance on it. Again, I love this new strain. It, it, will, it will be on the website. Uh, it's actually released already. But this is fun, okay? You can make Amabilis strain. With the C1. Okay. Uh, it might have been named, met before, but not, it, uh, not actually made using the formal sound of strength. The one that before, be, before, like 20, 30 years ago, they probably using the green flower, flower, the big flower, the big leaf. So we now, this is what we say, we, we, we could, the name could be the same, but when I say the description say remake. So we always remake something that never done before. Or more desirable strain. So this is C1. Like one of the C1 is look at this leaf. It's all very shiny, and it's from Indonesia. Okay. And this is why uh, Amabilis generally don't spot, don't flower in the middle of summer, but because I, we want we want to use it for breeding with the summer summer species, a hybrid. So I actually. Uh, trick it to flower in the middle of summer so that's why you don't see that much branching on the marbles okay and what about the light the actually the formal sauna strand a marble strand is what we call the standard okay and they actually now on the market even the standard white is very very easy to grow they can take more light okay they're from philippines 
So they don't mind the cold, they don't mind the heat, but do not like the night temperature before 55. Okay, so uh, if you, I've seen a lot of customer uh, in Florida, they can uh, even mount them on the tree, in a shelter tree, don't get a lot of rain on, and they go a while there. And if you can do that, fine. And but most likely, I hope it's easier. They actually more easy to go, uh, breathe for pin also part of print. And of course, you can also mount it uh, on a piece of cord uh, for the, for the uh, the bus. Okay. And while we add it, uh, I just want to show you is this is the uh, not you don't see it very very often now. Is the uh, Fernando standard Rihanna? Okay. Uh, there is actually a white form of Sanderiana now, but Sanderiana is commercial coming from the same area as a marble 24 hour. That's why the leaf is always big. So Sanderiana is actually in the background of all the white one, all the pink one we have today. So this is why a lot of the pink Phalaenopsis genetically have big leaf. Okay, so uh, that's okay. So this we have some equestrians, equestrians through So we can try to attempt to make crosses with it. Uh, try to make equestrians through shooting the leaf. But what I like, oh, and also this can be, Brian, turn off <laughs> to cross with uh, Shuriana. Look at the white lip on this. Mm, okay. Nice about Shuriana is always give you a nice arching spike habit. The, the very tall, very arrogant tall spike and arching, okay? So this is actually very good. And we, we always have the species because we back cross a lot of our modern hybrid back to the species. We want to get the species bigger, okay? All right. So on the Phalaenopsis zone, on the left hand bar, there's a area it says show species only so you can see what we have i i believe we have one of the biggest co uh, collection of the species in the united states right now okay, at, at any maybe moment okay. are we doing okay any question okay so The, Brian, what's the number for the 24 hours? All right. Yeah. So I'm going to move. Aha. Okay. So another one. You want to show this? This is something that I'm working on. This is actually standard white onto a marvelous. So you have the, uh, the flower size between a marvelous and the white, but this is maybe something, you know, this is something I'm playing with. <laughs> Do you think there's a market for this? All the branching. Yeah, look at all the flowers on it. Like, yeah, yeah. So now the next step for me, we're gonna cross with some of the compact leaf type and trying to cut down the leaf size. You see here? Hopefully, if we, if we can reduce the heat, the, the flower size by half, you still have a really nice tall branching habit. And, but they're gonna take another 10 years. <laughs> Bear with me. We have it. <laughs> we'll still be here. Yeah. Well, it's always something to look forward because, you know, uh, one thing I don't when my professor said, you want to do orchid? Oh, he thought I'm going to do flower. I said, no, 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 I want to do pop plant. He said, what's that? Because in cuff orchid business, it's only one color, white. And I can you imagine I do just one color and one type of orchid the rest of your life? No, that's too boring. <laughs> no, I have, I always have this five year plan. And I always come in, for me anyway, we always try to create something different. Uh, I'm. We always does a uh, trendsetter. You know, I create a trend. I'm the first one on the website. Oh, actually, working on the fragrant fan analysis 
for about about twenty years ago. Okay, uh, identify and collecting some of the best fragrance novelty species. So we actually brief for analysis on so for the fragrance. Okay, very very different than some of the traditional uh, orchid nurturement because I'm not the you know, I have my background is in uh, ornamental horticulture. So we emphasize on the wholesale retail nursery management and also the floral culture, which means in cut flower, you know. So I know my stuff, my business about cut flower regulation for Easter for Mother's Day. And for that, the species is very important because some of the species can flower naturally in the summertime, winter time. So it is and we always focus on not just a single flower because a lot of time you look at the slide presentation, the breeder or the people may show you a beautiful one flower, but the leaf always say might be this big, or oh, maybe it'll take five years to flower. It's, you cannot you cannot be in business to every every cycle of your orchid is five years. It's not that way. Okay. So enough of my business, and look at this. This is my latest accomplishment. Voila. This like is three spikes, that's Mega Thrive. This is Mega Thrive, and, and I will reveal the, this is my chrome, okay? This is actually crossed with Marvelous, but it has the steward area, a lot of steward area in the background, even though don't see the spot at all but what we did is we use a very pure white okay but in the this is summertime so you don't see branching but in the springtime with a, with the help of Stuart Ariana it gave a lot of uh, branching okay. but the difference between this and this is this is more for under light for miniature uh, it's easy to ship and not bad for in the summertime uh, January they had two spikes, but they can have three spikes. And the, what I like about this is how wonderful. Beautiful. And look at the root. This is why you want to go back to the species. They have a marvelous, uh, now it's called a uh, formal sauna. Okay, this is what I, I my line reading formal sauna. It's all about the root. Okay. This is why you can bang with orchid. <laughs> and I'm not afraid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, are we ready for a show and tell? But the fertilizer is the same. They are actually uh, uh, the white, standard white, uh, more heavier feeder. Then they can use more uh, fertilizer uh, because they love long day, short long day. So right now, summertime, even in the fall and the winter time, do not forget to feed it because. Uh, and uh, they can use a lot of uh, nitrogen also. All right. Are you okay? Okay. I'm gonna leave this here. Okay. Right, can you give a, give a uh, number for this one? And if I have this again, this is the eternal snow. Okay, uh, I'm actually working on a lot of the white with yellow lip, and maybe pink with yellow lip. So uh, next time I offer the internal snow again, do not wait because uh, the last batch was the first round and it was smashing the set. It was sold out in two months. So now we kind of redo it again. So maybe hopefully it will be ready in two years. <laughs> okay. The species. This is the one I said earlier, it's 24 hours fragrance. Okay, it's a very, very new uh, MC213. And what we have right now is a tissue culture. And I mentioned this before, I love the leaf. It got a very nice uh, silver-ish jade green. 
are very good for mounting uh, on the cork because they like the, the leaf is very pretty, really tall spike, and the fragrance is 24 hours jasmine fragrance. Okay, and this has been flower. This particular spike has been flower since February. Yeah, uh, they they might look very thin, but the flower is actually very long lasting. So. Uh, we have, uh, I think most of them are, are mature side right now. Get it, it's, it's, it's uh, more economical to get it um, a blooming side like this. Get them home, you can spike yourself, okay? Smell it. What does it smell to, to you? Oh yeah, it's really good. This is that jasmine, jasmine right? Yeah. Good. Okay. Someone else smell it too. <laughs> okay, and I, I, I feel this. Last time we sell this was last year and we sold out. Okay, we have this again. Uh, it's very Two rare. Up. Two thumbs up. Okay, this is very rare, very compact leaf. And look at natural, we have a natural brush of pink in here and a beautiful yellow lip. And this is actually from the area of Philippine and Indonesia, you know, one of those islands, south of Philippines and very close to Indonesia. So it's very, very different than any of the uh, Amabras from Philippines, like when the Florida or all from Borneo, usually big leaf. It was so unique in the island that very compact leaf. And I just love the way the flowers spike. You don't need to spike it. And they, they're searching for the light. And also, I don't know if you can see the tip here. I also have some kind of sequential flower ability. It's still, it's still developing in the middle of the heat. You know, we have 89 degree in the greenhouse last week. And but knowing where they come from, they can take the heat. So if you live in Florida, this is wonderful. Uh -huh. Oh, what's dendrobium. <laughs> uh, South Asia dendrobium. This is the dendrobium question. It's a pure alba. They, it's some Philippine species. Since I'm, we are talking about Philippine amabras, it's not a bit old. Okay, well, we release it. <laughs> uh, Crystal will do a recap, but this is the jumbo size. Okay, look how wonderful. This sequential, all this old one will flower along with the new one. So get them in right now, it's cheaper. Uh, I think it's on sale, so 48 only. And But this coming spring, all you could have was just white, almost like a uh, uh, white uh, quick miniature premiana, but pure white, and the lip has some stripe. Okay, can you? And for the Tetrapus lover. This is the Tetrapa C1. I think we mentioned last week, but this is coming to season. Uh, MC1312, C1 is in season. Okay, I love, uh, this is the size for the mature side. Get them in right now, because the, this is about three years old. And look, at, look how wonderful the leaf. Okay, you never cut the spike off. They just keep booming. And this is the, in a, a nice classic species to have because it's going to be in a lot of talk. A lot of the what we sell here have a lot of this in the breeding background. Okay. And, and Judy, me, or when Judy want me to show this again, I love this one here. It's just for fragrance alone. alone. This is about half banana. So you have the banana fragrance. So you have found enough wow. equestrians. You also have a marbles in the background. Okay, that's why a marble help to give the more flower. But it had the flower substance of Bernina, uh, Bernina and Valencia type and the equestrians. So wonderful short spike. Very fresh. Very st sturdy print. Hold on, look at it. Okay, this is a classic. This is actually developed by my good friend, uh, Mr. Chen from Asian Orchid. Uh, this is the four end strength. Uh, he made the hybrid about 20 years ago and throughout his uh, uh, selection, 
I discover a natural teacher point. So that's why I, I teach culture again. So this is my version of the street uh, of this Asian fragrance, and it's 4N. So it you don't even spike it. It just sells the pole. And amazing fragrance. You wanna smell it? Okay, we're gonna have a tell us about the fragrance. Smell that, Pardina? Oh man. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. It's like wine tasting. Like it's very yes. specific <laughs> fragrance. Okay. So this is the one I showed you earlier. Is this is my hybrid? I'm very proud of this one and my chrome. Uh, this is the Ever Spring Prince. Okay, Ever Spring Prince is the most expensive orchid I ever bought 20 years ago. It was twenty five hundred dollar. Yes, <laughs> not pesto, U.S. dollar. Uh, it was the first Harlequin. Okay, that's why you're gonna see. Uh, my, in my talk on the, the history of the Harlequin. And if you were there for my Jack and Tia talk, yes, this has Jack and Tia in the background, believe it or not. So this is Everspring Prince. Uh, remember our Jack yeah, and Tia Alba? On it. The Alba is still almost in flower, the Jack and Tia. Another week or two. We'll see. <laughs> I hope it's Alba. <laughs> okay, so this is the, the if you like, uh, Harlequin, but the new style of Harlequin doesn't have a lot of bright color. I like the the pure white, a marvelous shape, very round, and just enough of the fine spot. And the corner of them is called Galaxy. Okay, and this is perfect height to, to get. Uh, perfect height to get them in right now. I think they are on sale for thirty eight dollar only. So get them in. You're gonna enjoy all the way to Christmas. Okay, give me the fillet. No, fillet. Okay, I think we, this is the one we're gonna feature again. It's, it's part of the summer sales, okay? It's actually $28. This is the one got a grand champion of the Taiwan show 2018. It's a bit lip type, but with a mop, with a touch of a marbles in the background, okay? Really long lasting, and it'll give you a lot of flowers. So, uh, Crystal will give you a link, and there's a picture of the mature pen will looks like. And this one we featured this before. This is a bit lip type, but with, we also have a marble with four end in the background. So that's why the leaf is uh, short. But last time I featured this, I, I told you it, it lost its cut flower. Yes, it's been in this cut flower for about two or three weeks already. So this is the number. It's one of the best pure color bit lip hybrid and with a substance. Oh, that's Sibirium. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. Just jot down the number crystal. These are the two. Right? I need a number for this one. Two different ones. This is, our, this is part of summer sales. Lots of you like Spot, the Jeff. Uh, this one is actually orange. All right. This is actually is it have fifty percent of them is the vendacious mini autumn. So it little bit go that we in Florida. So this is actually ascocentum, uh, ascocentum uh, mini autumn in the background, and with Shuriana. So it's Jaho orange, and cross back to Shuriana. This is mature size. Okay. Crystal will give you a link. I love this one. I'm very happy to bring this back again uh, in, in the springtime. The reason I show you right now because uh, I only have about 50 of them. And I'm going to let you know first because the, the minute they are start spiking, they're not going to stay here too long. There's only 50 print. Uh, look at the, the picture from Crystal's recap. Get them in right now because it's, it's more economical to do it. And it's going to guarantee you're going to get your copy because this, this is a very slow grower. Uh, a print like this. This, this is about three and a half years old. Wow. They don't get any bigger. Okay. <laughs> so cute. Feel, feel the substance. Y'all, I'm not like Norman. I don't feed on the plants, but it, it's, it's, a, it's it, thick, right? It's very thick. That's the venta. Yeah, you can tell it's venta in there. If you grew it outside, it feels yeah. like 
Okay. Very strong. All right. This is the one is on sale and part of the summer sales. And this is the beautiful orange with spot. And again, I cloned this one actually because of the leaf. If those of you like the wrong fat leaf, <laughs> this is the one to get. It's actually what, $28 or something? And a beautiful big, this is the type of what I call a small plant with big flower. Can I have that yellow flower? Yeah. That one flower with yellow spot? This one? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Good. Okay, it's not like this one, but this is the type, the type small leaf, and the flower size is about this, this big. Okay. Right, this is Jamie Jumbo tomorrow. Oh, you're giving a preview of that? <laughs> Better get it out of here before you get your butt kicked. <laughs> Somebody's gonna want it already. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the next best thing because we can kind of get a jumper that was half. Ooh, this is my treasure. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. This is my signature piece, and we're the only one have this one in the United States. This is the work of my good friend. This one got a gold medal in Taiwan. And this is the young. This is a young plant. You wanna? This is a mature plant. Get it now. They flower twice a year, spring and fall. And look at the flower. They don't get any taller than this. In the springtime, the height is about like this, so perfect for under light. Okay, it should get a uh, almost close to FCC uh, here. Look at how wonderful the leaf. And this half I'm sitting very close up in the background. And we're very close up in the cool world, but with a good breeding background. This is called Jaho Queen. This is weather tolerance. Uh, it take the heat we have. You know, it was, it was almost hundred and two in the Catalina house the other day, and I was surprised to see this one in flower, <laughs> for sample. Anyway, but they love, they love. Look at the wonderful. See the spiking coming up. So buy the mature size. Get them in our. They flower in the in they flower twice a year, spring and fall. Okay, as a suitable mature, that's what spike coming up. So get them out. I think we have about maybe only 100 print left. I'm not gonna, the minute that we start putting the in, in spike, they're gonna fly out of here, okay? But get them in right now because in mature side, because if you have experience with Oncidium, you're done with the Sherry Baby, <laughs> you can do this. But the, the half, is half of the size, okay? Anybody can find a size for this big, come on. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a kind of rarity. Uh, last, I forgot to feature this one last week. This is actually half Studeria and half Valencia. It's a primary hybrid. Okay, so this is actually Studeria crossed with Valencia Alba. Can I have a friend, the species? Valencia Alba. So it's this Stuart Ariana. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We a big print of Alessia Alba. Okay. And we got something like this. But this chrome is actually I would just go for the leaf. If you see the flower, you, you can see the um uh, Stuart inference. But it had the valleys, yeah, all about the substance in there. Beautiful, and the print don't get very big. That's it. Show spike and the beautiful marking. Uh, and the, the more light, the more spot they have. The shadier, oh. the valleys, yeah, all about come true. Okay. Is that true of everything with the spotted leaf? Only this chrome. Not so every, it's the. Uh, Depend on the pate or the particular chrome. Okay, this one here still coming to very strong. We actually in the last lake. I think we have about fifty print left. This has been a very very nice hybrid. Okay, this is Kinshim Rouge cross with Equestrian Orange. So this is what they're gonna get. 50% will be pyroric, 
The Cretaceous project is blue with priority. On to a question orange. But now the orange, the orange been a recessive, but the orange is the species give the biggest uh, species. Threat. All these are first flower, first blooming. And that's from the equestrian. Look at the, and the Pochorima. You know, I, two weeks ago, I have a Pochorima session. These are first bloom. It's, uh, okay, so if you don't have this one here, and if you go on the line, you don't have a lot of space, this is highly recommended. And also good, good branching habit, good. Look at this, this is the one's branch. So this is the way, way equestrian inference on that. All right, next. Ooh. Okay. This is the one I say earlier. I was really proud of. So when you order the uh, the the spiking, they have the three sizes. They have regular spiking, premium, and this is the the jumbo. So you can you can pick uh, if you like a marble shape with short spike. This is the chrome we have. Uh, this is called, it's been registered as so-called Matana, Corva Formosa, and this is my my chrome. And I'm very, very proud of. So if you don't have a lot of uh, space, this is perfect. This one always flower for earliest of all my white. This one will always flower for Christmas for you. And, and also very heat tolerance. And it's the same as this one? Yes. This is the one you need? Yes. <laughs> okay, and Jamie saw this earlier. This is still bears going on strong. I don't know, it's been out. We've been, we keep sending out all the spiking. They've been spiking all summer long. This is Appendiciata by Poch, uh, Dorite Pochurima. <laughs> How cute. And they, <laughs> this, is what I, this is one of the, uh, the wearable orchid. <laughs> Put in your hair. And it's just dainty. Okay, beautiful. Alright. Okay. So uh, with the subject of white, okay. Remember all the dark leaves, so you know uh, a lot of pretty floral background. Because this is my Norman Smith. For those that are new with us, uh two years ago I did something. This is the one we saw earlier. Now we have this another crop of big plant. So what I did is cut the spike off and saving just one flower. And my prediction is, this is a big plant. This particular flower will be bigger than this. Hopefully we're going to, we are shooting for eight inches. Okay, so watch us. We'll <laughs> see what happens in it, okay? But this is the size you can get. Okay, for the for Norman Smith and the natural five inches. Uh, if you don't, if you don't have space for one white, get this one. This is not your average white. Look at the look at the flower spike. Look how thick it is. Kind so thick. Beautiful, beautiful leaf. The the spike is thicker than the bamboo. The the yeah, <laughs> genetic. Look at it. You don't need to spike them. And what I like about Norman Smith is not because I uh, it was it's actually registered by Norman Peterson in Dos, uh, Galita, California. They use it for cup flower, but this one is actually I found it from the population of seed in happened to be a tetrapoid. Okay, and this is the character. This is a tetrapoid. Okay, but what I like about this is when the flower open, Norman Smith had the natural habit of arching. Waterfall cascade, ca cascading effect. Unlike some of the traditional or pop, regular pop print, go up, 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 right? No, this one, and because flower is big, so once you get home, do not spike it too long. Just let it grow naturally, and because the weight of the flower is five inches inside, you're gonna force the, the, the flower, the, the flower start to cascading. Okay, so this is the new batch we have for the winter so you can have this for Christmas this is the stage we are going to ship right now puffy stage okay so you're going to have it for the first part will be for Thanksgiving for the Christmas party coming up or you, you can order two of them one leave it here and one cut a half to have one monster flower okay and Brian do you have more 
Oh, okay. We had the Batman return. Batman? Yes, the Batman return. I love Batman. Yeah, this is almost going to be perennial flavors. Batman. Again. This is from this string. It's going again. This is from the previous year. It's going to spike up again. And we also have a new batch coming up. So beautiful leaf. They don't get, the Batman don't get very big. And the, the sunny stay. Sunny, the flower will last four months. Individual flower. But sunny says that they were frozen in time. Okay. So, and believe it or not, Batman also have a marvelous in the background. So this is why it's so important that we know the species that we come from and a marvelous or Ophrodites are always in the background of a lot of the more modern phenomena we have today, even the novelty. All right, thank you for joining me. Uh, you guys have a nice safe weekend and I'll see you next week. And next week, uh, I'm gonna talk about getting plant ready for the fall and winter because uh, I know we are still hot here, but a lot of part of the country, you want to, uh, there's a lot of trick you can do with a poor force, pre-spiking for the winter time, winning plant inside. So join me next week, okay? Thank you, have a nice weekend. Okay.